what it do fam it's your boy d and i'm back with another new video and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe now this is the story on today and it's really 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 disturbing um in ohio there was an 81 year old man who shot an uber driver because of um someone you know making like that they had ransom or they had kidnapped one of his family members. Now, I'm going to show you this video. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Here behind me is where a scam call turned deadly, and I'm going to step out of the way here so you can get a look here. The man who lives here is accused of shooting and killing an Uber driver. He now faces a murder charge and potential other charges. Oh. Hey. Oh, According to reports, authorities say William Brock had been receiving multiple threatening scam calls the morning of March 25th. The calls were concerning an incarcerated relative, and Brock was told to meet at the courthouse to pay a ransom of $12,000 in bail money, or they would kill him and his relative. Around the same time of the call, Lolita Hall received directions from the same person or an accomplice, instructing her to go to Brock's home to pick up a package for delivery. Dash cam video from Hall's car shows her arrive to Brock's home to pick up that package. According to reports from the Clark County Sheriff's Office, Brock allegedly had a gun. This video appears to confirm that. The incident report says Brock allegedly took Hall's phone and wouldn't let her leave. And when she tried to go, authorities say Brock then shot Hall. They started fighting and he shot her two more times. Authorities received a call from Brock saying he had shot someone on his property because they were trying to rob him. When units arrived, they found Hall with multiple gunshot wounds, and Brock was bleeding from his head. Hall was flown to Kettering Hospital in Dayton, where she died. Reports say while officials were on scene, Brock's landline phone kept ringing, and when one officer picked it up, the man on the other line said he was an officer. And the real officer explained what happened and asked the caller to meet. And he agreed, but never showed up. We reached out to Uber, and they responded with this statement, saying in part, quote, there was no other way to describe this incident than a horrific tragedy. Our hearts continue to be with Lolita's loved ones as they grieve her sudden loss. We have been in contact with law enforcement and remain committed to supporting their investigation. End quote. Uber also went on to say the account of the individual who ordered the Uber trip has been banned. The sheriff's office is also reminding residents to be extra cautious and that no law enforcement agency or court will call you in demand for bail money over the phone. That goes for any other court functions as well. Reporting in Springfield, Grace Hewitt, 2 News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. And there you have it. Now, this Ohio man that's 81 years old, and shout out Ohio. He's 81 years old, a victim of a scam call. Somebody calling like they want him ransom. His name was William Brock. And they were pra pra um, playing on him like they had a family member of his kidnapped. And, um, threatened that they was going to kill that family member and kill him if he didn't have that ransom money um, at a certain time. But on the same note, the same person, which did, you know, call him, going to, you know, call Uber. And the Uber... Driver, delete the hall, answered the call, went to the place, not knowing that she was going to meet her fate. Ended up being a victim, getting killed by this 81-year-old man. There's some things you just don't do. These scam callers are going too far. 
playing like even now they got it where they can take your voice in AI and make it sound like your loved one. Like they actually have them and, and make it sound like they're in distress. And it sounds so convincing and sound real like they have them in the back tied up and torturing them or something. But in this case, I don't think AI was involved. But they are doing, you know, some sneaky stuff like that. And it's pure evil. It's pure evil, madness, sick. And these scammers, y'all need to stop it. I pray y'all get caught. Because after all this, this scamming right here, somebody's now dead. And I'm praying for the family of Delete the Hall. Because this should not have happened. This should not have taken place. This woman should have been at home with her family still here. And now you cause now a 81-year-old man having to go to prison. Because of the fact he was simply trying thinking thinking that he was protecting his family and not knowing that this woman that was coming and the Uber driver not knowing that she had no idea what was going on he fronts her off and then she tries to go and try to leave you know and he you know they fought they fought for a while because he had, you know, bruises and scars on his head and everything from her fighting him. You know, trying to get in a tussle with him. Trying to, you know, literally get away. But the thing is, when she turned and tried to walk off and go back, you know, to the car, he shoots her a couple of times. And in all end results... A woman ended up dying, 61 years old. From an 81 year old. There's a 20 years difference in them. Both are actually senior citizens. Just because somebody's senseless scam call, a stupid prank. That's what it sounds like. That's what it is, a prank, not a scam. Because you know what? It is a scam. They tried to get money out of this man. But then they have him in fear. They have him literally in fear, thinking that, you know, he's in danger and his family's in danger if he didn't have this money. People, when you get calls like that, hang up on them. When you get calls like that, it's all a scam. It's senseless. And it shouldn't even have, have happened. It's your boy D. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Push that no post bell notification button for the next content that I drop in the future. And remember one thing. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Number one, God loves you. There definitely ain't nothing you can do about it. So until we meet again, stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.